Hey everyone, so it is new PCB day today, except it's not really new because this is an old project. A while ago I did a video called The Pity Bot. Uh, it's a video, it's not very good. It's about my self-balancing robot that uh, is open source and it's for teaching PID controls in a simple way. So it wasn't really a build video and now I have to build a bunch for my school so I figured I'd do a build video about it and then so you can kind of learn how it's done and I actually added some new components so I will build it and then as usual we'll talk about it you can learn a little bit about it and then hopefully you can build your own so let's go <laughs> Okay, now that's done. Um, after you do the surface mount soldering, you have to solder the other components, through hole components. There's a couple of those the battery connector, the ISP connector, which is for programming it the first time, and uh, the potentiometers are another one. Once you get those on, then you have to put a bootloader on it. And what the bootloader does is allows you to program it using the Arduino IDE. However, for this board, I made a custom, well I made some modifications to a bootloader because of one of the inputs, for some reason they changed it, this is an old design, and it makes the motor run when you're programming it, you don't want that to happen. I'm using one of these ISP programmers, but you can just use a regular Arduino if you want to, there's a lot of tutorials, you can look that up, just look up bootloader. Arduino, ISP, something like that, you'll find it. So once you connect however you're doing your installing the bootloader, I'm using, as I mentioned, the ISP, so it's plugged in, and you need to give it separate power, so you plug in one of your batteries, and then when you turn it on, you'll see that the programmer confirms that it's getting power, and what I'm using to load the bootloader is Atmel Studio 7. Then you go to Tools, Device Programming, make sure that I can see it make sure it's getting the correct voltage and you don't really have to worry about that if something shows up then it's probably working you go to memories and you locate this file Katarina PityBot which is included in the project files this is the bootloader for the PityBot you open that up hit program does some stuff and it's done so if that worked, that means you can now program that by plugging it into the USB and you can find it in the Arduino IDE and you can load the software that I've made for it or you can write your own. But now we have to finish the assembly, so let's do that. So the PityBot was designed as a teaching tool for the PID control algorithm. And basically there's three potentiometers for the proportional, integral, and derivative terms of the control loop. Even if you don't fully understand what the PID loop is, you can begin to get an understanding of what the terms do in terms of control for balancing. And that's why this is an interesting tool because you don't have to understand exactly the math behind it to play around with it. You can also design your own programs to run on here because there are encoders underneath so you can actually make it more complicated basically but right now it doesn't utilize the encoders for the program that you can download right today. 
who knows when you're watching this, so maybe there's improvements in the future. So before you turn the pity bot on, for the first time at least, you want to make sure all the potentiometers are turned counterclockwise and they're at their end point. So basically zero in the program. And then you can turn it on and you immediately want to hit reset because that's something weird about the bootloader when you first power it on. And when they're all at zero, it's actually looking for its zero placement, its zero angle, since all of them are calibrated slightly different. So as you make them come out of zero, it starts to enable the balancing program. So if you want to reset where the tipping point is, you put them all to zero again and start it. But once you start tuning it, that's where your zero is going to be. So you want it to be straight up when you first start it. And as you change the parameters, you'll see how it reacts differently. So like all of my projects, the PityBot is open source, which means you can download the circuit board files and make your own. You can download the body and 3D print your own. However, I do have a Shapeways link where you can purchase one that kind of supports me. I get a few cents if you buy one. You can also improve the files and make it better and make it your own and add your own designs and change it up. If you want to build your own, just follow along. I've got a Hackaday page and an Instructables on how to build it and where to get all the parts. So if you enjoy my projects and my videos, consider becoming a patron. It does take a lot of time and money to develop something like this. It goes through a lot of iterations of circuit boards and, you know, everything really. And the more support I have, the more open source projects I can make and give to you, the audience. Because that's what I really want to do. I want to have more projects that are free for anyone to build and do themselves and learn. And maybe those people will make their own projects. So if you want to become a patron or buy the 3D printed body on Shapeways, or even just become a subscriber. They all are ways to help me out. So I hope to see you on the next project and I hope to see some of these on Twitter. Tweet at me if you make one or leave a comment below if you make one. Anyways, everyone, you know the deal. Be good and have a good day. Yeah.